All right, guys, so welcome to my channel. This is brought to you by DivasWigs.com. They sent me a new wig, and I'm just opening it up, showing you all the things that are inside of the box. I'm in love with the fact that it's in this black, you know, cloth bag. It's very well um, packaged, so you see me trying to get everything pretty much out the box. But this is a 360 lace wig. Um, the 360 is all the way around. It has elastic um, band or adjustable bands or straps. It has about three combs in the front, one in the back. You can tell that it is more so of a frontal than anything. It's just got a small amount of lace in the back. And the center part actually has um, wefts that are sewn in this is what it looks like the parting close up um you can tell that it's been uh pre-plucked in a sense or just ventilated sparingly so that the hairline could look a little bit more natural this wig actually um was already ventilated to have this specific parting but i'm actually going to change the parting the lace is very soft, so that's a good thing. So this video, I'm actually going to show you uh, some very important tips you need to know when it comes to uh, customizing your wig. These are tips that all wig wearers should know. Um, first, I'm going to start with my rat tail comb, and I'm going to create a much more deeper part, um, which you guys should know how to do this. It's not always shown in a lot of the videos on YouTube. Uh, a lot of times our people are afraid of the flyaways, but this is how I do it. Wet it with water, a little bit of conditioner and oil in that water, and this is how I set it. This allows the hair to kind of lay over. Uh, it's, it's a molding technique. And you just use a blow dryer and just brush it down to mold the hair to move in the direction that you want so that it's flat and it doesn't have any bumps or anything into it. So based on the picture of the wig, it's actually a more, well it is a blunt cut wig, but it's just got this bump to the ends of it. So I did flat iron it out. I wanted it to be a little bit more uh, straight. So just using a wig brush and my favorite flat irons to just kind of flatten out the uh, length of the hair. And it is such body to this wig. I was very impressed with that. So here I am showing you another uh, tip. How to customize the parting. Uh, this is something you can also do with the front hairline of the wigs, but since most wigs are having this pre-plucked idea going on, uh, you'll probably just focus on the parting. And this is just to open it up a little bit. It looks a lot more natural when the parting is a little bit more opened up and not so straight lined like most um, wigs can be. So this is just the way that I customize it. I don't use tweezers. I just take a few strands of the hair within the um, lace and just pull whatever I could um, pull. Don't pull a whole lot at the same time, just a few strands at a time and customize it that way. So another tip is cutting the lace, whether it's a lace frontal or in this case a 360 lace. I always uh, encourage you guys to cut as close to the hairline and the hairs as possible. Even if you cut off a little bit of hair, it's okay. Make sure you leave a little bit right there in the ear tabs because we're going to attach elastic band to this uh, wig. Same thing I would do with a lace frontal as well. But the closer you cut to the hairline, the better so you don't see this lace effect when you actually do install this wig on your head it's just better that way so i encourage you guys to do it that way cut as close as you possibly can it looks a lot better when you install it uh, again make sure you leave a nice amount at the ear tabs of lace open or extend it so that you're able to attach the um, elastic band So in a video a while back, I showed you how you can actually attach, well, actually find the measurement of the elastic band that you need. Just stretch it from one, from one ear to the other and that will give you the length that you need. Elastic bands are easy to find at a fabric store or you may find them at your local beauty supply store already uh, with, at a softer like texture than this one that I have. But I'm using a zigzag stitch, a very tight zigzag stitch. So if you have a sewing machine, 
uh, use a very tight zigzag stitch. Um, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can do this by hand. Uh, I just prefer to do it by sewing machine because once I lift it from the sewing machine, you're going to see that it just looks neater, it looks professional, and you can see that it's going to be very secure. And so because I put the elastic band from ear tab to ear tab, um, there's no need for these combs. I hate combs. I think they, um, they, they bring too much tension to the hairline, um, combing it through your hair, whether you're natural or relaxed. It's just too much, so it's just better to just cut them off. I don't understand why they put these on the lace anyway. It's just too much. So um, you want this lace to lay flat to your head anyway, so the combs don't do that as well as the elastic band does. So just remove those and just keep the comb in the back if it has one, or you can add them to the back. You slip the comb underneath in order for it to fit. You can adjust the elastic bands to help it fit a little bit more. So unfortunately, I did not have a flesh tone like wig cap to protect my hair. So all I had was this black one. So I'll show you how I'm going to be using it. But using some edge control, I think this is just the only thing I would use when it comes to wearing any kind of wigs, more so straight hair wigs, and just kind of like setting your hairline. I think you just this is just how I do it. So this is my idea of kind of setting my hairline. I take the cap, pull it back, and so that my hair is straight because you guys know that I'm natural. And then any foundation will do when it comes to your lace. Um, everyone's um, scalp is about the same color as maybe the inside of their arm, but this is me placing some of that makeup right on that lace so that it'll look um, natural in a sense. But this is what I came up with. Don't worry if there's too much makeup into the hair. We can always clear that off with a wet towel or just with your fingers. And this is what I mean by installing it onto your head using the elastic band. It allows the um, lace at the hairline to lay flat. And you just use the comb and tuck it underneath the elastic. And I'm gonna be sharing some things with you guys. I have not worn a straight hair wig and I don't know how long, it's been years. and. This hair, I think at this point, I didn't realize it actually looked cute. I'm looking at it on camera as I am doing this voiceover, but I just was just not confident with this wig. I have come to learn that I just do not like straight hair wigs. So what you see me doing here is just doing a little bit of like shaping around my face, just a little bit. I didn't want to do too much cutting uh, to this unit. And then after I realized that I didn't want to cut too much, I started to uh, curl and primp and curl and primp and curl some more. So yeah, honestly guys, this is just me not really caring for straight hair wigs. And honestly, it did really look good, but just what you see me doing right here shows that I just don't feel comfortable with it. And not to say that this wig is a bad wig to have. It's just, it's a beautiful wig and it definitely takes heat very well. It holds a curl pretty nicely and the hair, the texture of it is just, it has bounce, it has shine. It's really good. This is a really good quality wig and the hair. So I'm not saying that it's bad because I don't care for straight hair wigs, but yeah, this is it guys. This is what I came up with. You can see in the parting it looks a little bit more natural um, you can do a little bit more to work that but this is what I choose to do because it's easier I don't sleep in my wigs and I don't wear the same wig daily every day but this is just my idea of some tips that can help you when you are a regular wig wearer yeah so see the bounce to the hair <laughs> Other than that, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel if this is your first time watching me. I have more wig videos that I'm going to be uploading. I'll see you guys in the next one.